baseball after our show. Habib Connor McGregor fight Texas Oklahoma this weekend. This is the most excited I've been for a weekend. You are fired up. It's really a good weekend. Uh, let's bring in my. Friend. Yeah. By the way, before we get wow, to uh, I got an before we get to uh, Monday's headline today, which is becoming my favorite segment, of course, the um, <clears throat> McGregor. Uh, um, do you do you? I'm going to watch the fight. Yeah, I can't wait to watch it. Are, do will you watch it? Well, we talked about this on my podcast. Are you going to be getting down some gambling? Uh, oh yeah, already on the fight. Already Don't tell it. me you bet on Connor. A ton. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's not good news. The public's all over Conor McGregor. And apparently this guy he's fighting, I'm not even going to try to say his name because I'll butcher it. Habib. He's never lost a round. He's a much better fighter. I think McGregor's a bad play here for you, uh, Mr. Cowherd. got to remember in, in UFC, there's very few elite fighters. So there's about six guys who are, like, great. And they, it's like tennis. I mean, it's like tennis. There's like, there's like five, there's like three great women's players and four really great men's players, and they just crush everybody else. It almost sounds like the Patriots. Did you? How'd you do last night? Did you have the Patriots? I had the. I said, uh, Joy is my witness. I said, very rarely in the NFL, I can't remember the last time an excellent quarterback got ten and a half points, and I took the Patriots to roll. Well, the problem is Andrew Luck is surrounded by ineptitude. I know you're tight with the Colts front office. But I'm telling you, Andrew Luck's getting a raw deal. He's throwing to undrafted guys. No, no, no. And Total nobody. Andrew Colin. Luck is having a remarkable season. Deshaun Watson's not playing well. Well, Maybe. his offensive line's bad, but Luck just is surrounded by nobody. There's mm-hmm. some stats out there. He has such a bad defense. He's had in Indianapolis his whole career that, like, Ben Roethlisberger, Aaron Rodgers, all these guys have great defenses. So after the game last night, I, I was out. We were drinking in Manhattan Beach. Yeah. And, uh... After the game, I was like, boy, glad I didn't see that Andrew Luck social media bashing. I'm sure it was ugly. And I'm telling you, I believe that he is as good as a Dan Marino. He, who, Dan Marino, who had nobody in Miami. Joy, you know that well, right? I mean, Dan Marino, Hall of Famer, won an MVP. Andrew Luck is going to have that kind of career if Indianapolis doesn't surround him with it. No, he needs – that's why I said I thought the Colts should go after Le'Veon Bell. I thought it was like – listen, the bottom line yeah, is – That's not bad. He's a great receiver. And, and by the way, their defense up front, they, Darius Leonard, they, he's a rookie. He's having a great year. Yeah. Their defensive line's like fourth in sacks. Their defense is better than people think. They have they – have, they need new tackles. They need receivers. <laughs> they need a back. You're not going to get anybody in the second, third round that's close to Le'Veon yeah. Bell. Listen, and you talk all the time, Aaron Rodgers. Rodgers doesn't get help. Well, you tell me what help Andrew Luck Oh, no, no. Luck Andrew Luck getting. had no help. Top 10 quarterback in the NFL, right? No, no, no nobody in the NFL has had less. No. Then and he again, came in. You, you, you know GMs walk through these halls at FS1 all the yeah. time. Go talk to any of them. Oh, I'm, God, I'm they a love sponge Luck. around them. They love They're Luck. all like, oh, my gosh, I'll take Andrew Luck in a heartbeat. By the way, Carson Wentz is great. He's struggling this year. And he with is, great players uh, around him. It's hard. This league is hard, man. Dangerous spot for Carson Wentz this weekend uh, at well, home. I like the Vikings. Yes. All right. We call it Monday's Headlines today. Here we go. All right. So, Colin, one of uh, the better games of the weekend, actually, the three and one Ravens visit the Browns and your buddy Baker Mayfield. Yeah. You guys are now texting regularly, You're right? Very close. So after the Ravens absolutely throttle Baker Mayfield, I'm thinking, you know, some Cleveland fans could be turned say, where's Tyrod Taylor? That's how ugly it's going to be. I think the headline Monday will be half baked. <laughs> you like that? I do. L- L- B- listen, Baker Mayfield turned it over four times against the Raiders who have a bottom three defense in the league. Yeah, atrocious. Guess who has the number one defense in the league in yards per play, the most important metric? Baltimore Ravens. They've given okay. up – Baltimore's given up nine second-half points all year. And they get their best cornerback. Jimmy Smith is back. Keep an eye on special teams. The Browns are the worst in the league from kicking to returns to punting. I, I just – the Ravens – and I hate to say this because I go on lock it in, you know, the, the gambling yeah. show, and I talk about my lock of the week – uh, Ravens are my lock of the week. I okay. love them this week. All right, next game up, Jaguars at Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. Monday's headlines today. What so be? is the bust done for Patrick Mahomes? Is he in the Hall of Fame yet? I know it's at the quarter <laughs> mark. But after the Jags win in KC, here's your headline. Not much to write Mahomes about. <laughs> Come on, how about the creativity, babe? I like That's money. I like your head. You know what? You, you, there's a lot of newspapers that could use your work. Well, uh, so you uh, think he's going to struggle? 
Well, I mean, he's going against the two best cornerbacks in the league, right, uh, Jacksonville. This is just a big step up in class for the Chiefs. It is. I mean, listen, that Denver Broncos defense, everybody's like, oh, they're good. They're not good. They have a forced turnover in three games. And the Chargers now without Bosa have no yeah. pass rush. I mean, and the Steelers, we know they're a joke defensively. So Mahomes is all of a sudden on a short week going to be facing the best defense in the league. I think this is a tall order. We know Andy Reid's better with extra time. Yeah. On a short week, I think this is a tough spot for KC. Good stuff. R- this is a good game. Raiders, well, it's at the Chargers, but it's yeah. mostly a home game. Raiders at the Chargers, Monday's headlines today. Did you see the headline on the big lead about how the Chargers are, like, working around noise at their own stadium? They're preparing for the Raiders fans. But I think the Raiders go down. I like the Chargers a lot here. Grood awakening. Oh, I didn't get a laughter there. That no, wasn't great. Don't love that. Okay, okay so you like enough. you like the Chargers yeah. to win this game. Look, we know the Raiders. I know that were they your Baker Maker money maker thing last Listen, week? I will say this. It's in, now do- it, it's just in, dollars. I would say this though, personnel wise, Marshawn Lynch can still play. Yes. Doug Martin's a great number two back. Jared Cook's a great tight end. Jordy Nelson, Amari Cooper. You can't name a player on their defense. Don't no, even no. try. No, it's no, bad. There's no team in the NFL as lopsided. As the Raiders. Yeah. They have really special offensive personnel. They don't have squat defense. Chargers a bit underwhelming. I don't think they took the 49ers seriously. They, right? When I Garoppolo was out. I can't figure them out. It was like defense. a Vikings-Bills game, right? The Vikings just didn't show up, and the Bills rolled them. 49ers took the lead 14 nothing last week, and the Chargers just were like, oh, we got to wake up and play. This is a good team. I'm telling you, the Chargers don't sleep on them. I think there's great value on them this weekend. And, uh, okay, how about, now this, this is, you know, this game's getting no discussion, and it's really fascinating because the Cowboy games all get discussion. Uh, Dallas Cowboys at the Houston Texans. Monday's headlines today. We could do a whole segment on the Cowboys and how boring they've gotten. I mean, seriously. But I believe... The Cowboys go into Houston, lose the battle for Texas, and Dak Prescott's in the crosshairs. One step forward, two steps, Dak? That's a good headline. That's not bad. Joy? Joy is is holding back Mm -hmm. laughter over there. (laughs) (laughs) I got to say this. Listen, Dak Prescott did not look great against the Lions, and that was his best performance of the season. What's really hurting Dallas right now? There's no juice on that team, Colin. You watch them. They're predictable on offense. There's no real personalities. Notice Ezekiel Elliott has really dialed it back from the suspension last year. He like doesn't talk. He's not that interesting. There's nobody on the defense that's really exciting. I, you know, Jerry Jones, I think Jason Garrett's going to have to go, and I keep the name Jim Harbaugh, your buddy. You love Jim Harbaugh. Keep that name in mind for the Dallas Cowboys. You know, you one of the reasons you succeeded, um, we, you and I both like business. And I think our connection initially wasn't sports, it was business. I would consider you an early adapter. I, I've had this theory about sports. Um, people in life and businesses that are early adapters. The Warriors were early adapters to the three. Yeah. They got ahead of everybody. About a, two years ahead of everybody. LeBron, by the way, was shooting threes about 10 years ago. LeBron, a little bit of an early adapter on threes. He went down to Miami in the last two years. That's all, that's all they shot. And you were, you've done it very well. You got out of the newspaper business. You got into the blogs before they were big. Then you, by the way, sold yours as they start to kind of peek out. Right. So I would, I'm a but, little embarrassed here. No, but I would say such nice things about But them. I would say this. The Cowboys are not early adapters. No. If you watch what's happening in the NFL, the Bears, um, Kyle Shanahan, the Rams, are you, Andy Reid, they're early adapters on college offenses. Belichick was too. Belichick and Andy Reid yeah. were very early adapters. Take some college stuff and bring it to the pros. Dallas is running a professional yeah. offense. It's not clever. It's not creative. It, when you watch... When you watch the Rams and the Chiefs play, and you watch some of these teams, you're like, oh, that's clever. Yeah. Matt Nagy I, in Chicago, I, that's I think a college the word you're looking for is innovative. innovative. They are just willing to try new stuff, totally outside the box NFL stuff. And the defensive coordinators who grew up ready for the pro style offense and the I formation, they're just confounded by this. They're not ready. And if you're looking for another early adapter, I'm telling you, sports gambling is on the rise like never before. So I started this podcast at FS1 Coming Up Winners, and there's a lot of podcasts out there now in this space. We know that FS1's in the gambling TV. Let's just say I know other networks that are starting to make moves. They want to get involved in the sports gambling. This is what's going to pop in the next 24 months. You're going to see a big surge in sports gambling. Well, yeah, there's, there's, but first of all, 
Gambling makes sports more fun. And it's unpredictable. You know, we, have, we like to think we know the NFL, Colin. We have no idea what's going to happen. 50, Nobody does. 57.5% last year. That's what I try to hit. I, I say this all the time about, like, everybody, you know, sometimes I watch the media. Oh, the NFL's dying. The NFL's dying. What do we bet in America? <laughs> we bet football. We don't bet baseball. We don't bet the NBA. If you don't think gambling is going to help the NFL, then you're just not paying attention because – the NFL, it's a once-a-week bet. Everybody can play. Baseball's too many games to be a big better. You have to really be into it. And most people are busy. They have lives and kids and careers. NBA, 82 games. The NFL, 16 games in the fall, moves to winter. It's easy to play. you got to make one big bet. You watch what professional gambling, you watch what gambling now does to the NFL. It's going to give it, for the next five years, huge. it's going to be hey, huge. You mentioned NFL dying. So we saw a big surge in traffic on the big lead in September. So we compared it to the prior year. I believe it's up 96% traffic-wise on Sundays on our website. NFL content on Sundays. Okay, up that- 96 from the previous year. I mean, I'm telling you, right now, the NFL is that very is? The NFL's hot. Oh, but first the, of all, well, the quarterbacks are healthy. That's huge. You have great quarterbacks. Well, you got new blood, Baker. The Thursday games Mahomes. on Fox oh, are yeah. way better games. They're giving you big time. Like Minnesota Vikings, Rams, that could be the NFC Championship. And by the way, as, as, as beat up as the Colts are, I got to watch Brady and Luck last night. I'm and, getting like star quarterbacks. And the other thing, and I know this is not new new territory, but there really is a lot of parity in the league. There, oh, there are so many good teams that every Sunday you've got like six or seven must-see matchups. But, by the way. You want to know who's good and nobody watched him last week? Uh, Josh guess? Rosen. Yes. Nobody saw uh, Josh Rosen because we were all, I, was, I was watching Baker Mayfield. And I, that was that game, by the way. You watched that. That game was great. The Raider game and the Browns game, even though it was played in the baseball infield, was great. Nobody watched Josh Rosen. Dude was good. Well, I think Rosen had a good game, but the 49ers will be ready. You know, John Lynch, they, they're going to be prepared for this. Keep an eye on Darnold against the Broncos defense. I think Darnold, everybody's selling Sam Darnold now. Oh, hey, he wasn't good against the Jags. Well, nobody's good against the Jaguars. Go ask Tom Brady about that. Watch Darnold this weekend. I, I believe he erupts and has a big game for the Jets. Love them this weekend. One of my blazing five picks. Yes. Like the Jets. Yeah, one of my blazing five picks. Michael Vick on the show Monday where Colin was right, where Colin was wrong. I want to thank J-Mac, Jason McIntyre, Ty Law, Ben Volan, Boston Globe senior reporter. He was great. Albert Breer as well. Have a great weekend. I'm going to take Conor McGregor and the Oklahoma Sooners in L.A. It's the Herd.